we're going to do a, a, a live demonstration here, but just a few highlights of, of, of this. You want to, and, and I'm going to kind of show it here um, with our uh, model. So you want to inject at either one to three o'clock on the penis or, or nine to 11 o'clock on the penis, right? And so the reason for that is that at the 12 o'clock region, all the nerves run. So you'll have a lot of sensation there, arteries, veins. And on the bottom side of the penis at six o'clock is the urethra. So you don't want to obviously put the medicine in the urethra, but it's the way the erection works is the paired uh, corpus cavernosum is where the blood fills up, right? So essentially, um, we would start with an alcohol pad right here, okay? Here is the medicine. So always you want to disinfect right here at the rubber stopper, just to clean that area, okay? And then here's the needle, okay? So very small, I mean, I'm gonna show you this, you barely can even see this, uh, you know, the, 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 the gauge of this needle, right? So let's say I wanna go up to about 20 units, so I'll pull it up to 20 units, okay? And then I've, I've already disinfected this, so then I'll put it into, through that rubber stopper and I'll actually inject here and you'll kind of see some air bubbles go in, right? So then, and then you'll pull back to where, you know, back to that 20 units and, and that's that. Okay, perfect. So now I'm ready to go with this shot. So on the penis as well then, just at that side. And I, I prefer also patients, I, I tell my patients to go near the base. You could go up here, but it also hurts more towards the end of the penis you go, I mean, you could, the head of the penis would hurt a lot, so I, I would avoid. So you just go at the base at nine to 11 or one to three. I, I like nine o'clock just as easier, you know, you just know it's right there on the side. And then essentially pay, you just push it in all the way. And I have patients make a little indent there, then you know you're in the corpus cavernosum and not in the skin. And then you inject, pull out the needle, and then just hold some pressure there, right? I think that helps a little bit just to any bleeding and just to keep the medicine kind of staying in the in the chambers of the penis we want it. And then essentially, as, as always, you want to dispose of your sharps, just throw it in there. And uh, yeah, so that's that's that, you know, and, and, and then we, we do a test direction in the office generally uh, and kind of find what dose is good for what patient and then they can, you know, tinker with that a, a little bit at home as well. If you'd like to learn more about post prostate cancer treatments, there'll be more resources in the resource center on menmd.com. You can visit this page to view instructional videos, guides, expert articles, and more. As I previously mentioned, if you have another question or if your question was not answered tonight on the call and you'd like to follow up with someone in person, you can do so by calling MenMD at 857-233-5837. Or if you prefer, you may log into the password protected MenMD portal to schedule an appointment with a MenMD personal health assistant. If you're interested in purchasing any of the ED or urinary incontinence products that we mentioned tonight, this is going to be over-the-counter products uh, as the other ones would require prescription but you can do so by heading to the shop page on menmd.com and call, or by calling our office again at 857-233-5837. If you found this video helpful and want to stay in the loop with our growing men's health community, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to be notified when new content is available. Your support makes it easier for other men like you to find these helpful resources. Thanks again for watching. We hope to see you again.